Right now, there are more than 17,000 people across the state without power, and this is part of the reason. You see behind me the wind just too strong for this power pole in Littleton. WBZ's Anna Myler spent the morning checking out all of the damage in Duxbury. There are road closures across Duxbury as crews work to clear trees like this one and repair power lines and poles brought down by strong winds this morning. Duxbury firefighters have been busy all morning responding to dozens of storm related emergencies like these downed wires that sparked a fire on Stagecoach Road. We've had several wires down that are, that are arcing and sparking on fire, so our crews have been standing by until we can get Eversource there to shut the power down. Bob Anderson lives across the street and lost his power, but he says compared to past storms, this wasn't too bad. Nothing. It's just the electricity is a real hassle when you lose it. But there's still plenty of damage around Duxbury. A tree toppled onto a chimney on Franklin Street, and Eversource crews are spread out across town, cutting up large fallen branches and putting up new utility poles. You know, luckily, they, they called off school today. Uh, keep the kids off the streets till we could get this all taken care of. The good news, there's no snow to contend with. The weather is warm for February, making it easier for people to clean up. Eversource is reminding everyone, if you do come across down wires, assume that they're live, stay away, and report them to 911. Reporting in Duxbury, Anna Myler, WBZ News.